When I was explaining it to her at uh, my birthday party too, I was pretty sure it was just. <laughs> she was just like, she was like, oh, uh huh, uh huh. She, she was like sipping on wine. She was like, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay, and I was just like, why the f am I explaining this? Right? All right, everybody. It is a beautiful, sunny afternoon. Welcome back to Get Real. Woo! Didn't know we were the news forecast. <laughs> I, don't to, I don't want to do that. I just wanted to mention the the weather today. Was it's that, just really nice. Was that, was that your dream job when you were a kid? Kind of wanted to try it out. <laughs> news news where, anchor. Where else am I going to try it out except, you know? I don't know. Yeah, Instagram but, uh, live or something. I don't know. Do it all here. Yeah. yeah. I mean… Uh, do it all here. And as you know, we get real with our thoughts. Uh-huh. And uh and all things concerning life, we are your host, Juni. Ashley. BM. And Penila, B2B. Woo. Yeah. Make sure to follow and review the podcast on Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Five stars Woo. only. Five stars. Oh, Get real about of- the weather too. Speaking of? Speaking five of five stars. Mm. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, speaking of five stars, we'll be discussing today ratings and reviews. Ratings what? and reviews about everything. About everything. Movies, music, restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. Airbnb, Airbnb. <laughs> yo, yo. Let's start with Dive Studios. Where's our ratings at right yeah, now? Yeah, what is it? I've actually is seen it. it. Is that like a solid like one point five? No, no I'm I'm I've actually I seen it know. on Apple Podcasts. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. dude, five stars. I swear, I swear. Five point oh. Last time I saw it was five point oh. No, really? freaking Beating away. the Tebak Show. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I might be wrong. Let's check it. Oh, four point. Oh, we beat you by one point. What up, Eric? Eric? Wait, drop suck. point two. <laughs> Since this is the last time Junie checked. <laughs> who, who was it? Who was it? Who oh, was oh, it? Good on it. That's oh, not good. We're gonna find huh? you out. Oh, oh yeah. Spotify, oh, Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Okay. Spotify stars. Hey, also, Dive, St- uh, Dive Studios needs to update the Apple Podcast page because mm. this is. Oh yeah, um, I saw your. There's Peniel's face and then BM and Ashley oh, yeah, Toy. I'm not even and in Juni's there, And Juni's not even on this. <laughs> I'm not even in. Am I like a long-going yeah. guest? Hey, that's cool. Yeah, like, you're just a special guest though. every why single day. Why this man? picture? Yeah, like, wait, wait, wait. Let me take a look at this. this picture of all <gasps> Yeah, I saw the picture. It was hilarious. There's there's people that gave one star too. I look like… Really? really? Yeah. I look no, like they didn't. the moon. Just where there is. haters. Look, there's one star. It's I want to find a… I want to find a one star. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Eric. Eric. The <laughs> Tim Buck Show. <laughs> could oh my be. Gosh. Could be. Five stars. It's 4.8. That's really good. That's, that's really that's good. That's solid, huh? That's solid. It's 209 go. reviews. Thank you, guys. That's a lot. Yeah, thank that's you so lot, much. Yeah. Keep on… Keep on… Uh, I was going to say voting. Keep on <laughs> voting. <laughs> keep on voting. Damn. <laughs> keep on rating. <laughs> oh, Talking I, about the economy and stuff <laughs> yeah. last week. You're going to yeah. run for president, yeah. man. Are you doing keep better? Keep on voting. Yeah. Are you doing better economically? Doing, my, doing, doing much better. We're all doing much better, okay. right? Okay. Yes. That's good. That's good. But um, we're talking about ratings today. Mm. Okay. Do you guys um, check the reviews? Of course, a we dive do. or like no, just like everything. restaurants, whatever it may yeah. be, yeah, yeah, of yeah, products yeah. you're gonna buy yeah. when you're shopping, online uh, shopping. It depends. Mm. I usually check reviews for um, movies. Usually, it's word of mouth for me. Mm. Mm. Um, food, I check like Yelp or like you know Naver, and I like look at like how much stars they have or right. whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, I think a lot of products. Whether it be like music related or like skincare related or just anything, mm. I check YouTube reviews. Oh like yeah, people reviewing them definitely. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You watch the whole thing. I watch the whole thing a lot, especially if it's music product, like music uh, equipment mm. related. Yeah, yeah. So don't, mm. don't you too? I mean, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. I do that for cameras. Oh yeah. Yeah. What about for like skincare and like makeup and whatnot? I just try everything. Wait, don't you make wow. it too? What do you mean make it? Like make reviews <laughs> for like, no. Oh, I mean, yeah. Sometimes if I like a product, I'll recommend it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's but so I mean, much. I that's like a lot. Skincare is a little different because everyone has different, different kind types of skin. Yeah, so. it's hard. Yeah, it's like, but even sense. food too. Everyone has a different palette. So even though I, I read through all the reviews, I kind of take it with a grain of salt mm. because some people may be like, "Oh, it's, it's too bland or it's too salty." 
But sometimes I try it. I'm like, oh, it's good. It's actually yeah. good. And it's was different that, with Kyopo, a- Kyopo taste buds too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we like I don't know. You guys salty. like it salty. I think we do like it salty. Yeah, I have I like a very it. Korean like taste bud. Yeah, so. She likes oh, okay. it sweet. Oh yeah. man. You're, a, you're a sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. A lot, of, a lot of Korean food is very sweet though. Yeah. I feel I'm like. yummy. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. So do you not like New York pizza then? What? I mean I'll have one slice… But I don't crave it. It's too oily. But you're always running Come your on. mouth about New York pizza, but you don't even like it. Yeah. I didn't. I never ran my mouth about <laughs> New York pizza. Yo, do you like spam? Hey, you ran your mouth. No. You don't like spam. What about light spam? Spam light. No. What about Tabasco? Do you spam? like Tabasco spam? Tabasco do you like spam? Pizza? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's something that I like. Say potato pizza. So do you like the Korean pickles yes. over the American pickles? Yes. Wow. All the way. Incredible. You're you can't weird. call yourself American. I don't How think do she you, does. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I think, think she, she does. I think she calls I mean, herself Korean now. She kind of doesn't but yeah. she used to. Anyways. She used to be like, I'm a New Yorker. Mm. Yeah, but after I got mugged, no. You um, got mugged? In New York? In New York City. When? Well, I got $10 taken from me. Oh, oh the CD the, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, Was I not there for this episode? You? <laughs> <laughs> he scammed you. Yes, yeah. I got yeah, he scammed. scammed you. I got scammed. And then after that, I don't call myself a New Yorker anymore. Mm. Anyways. Um, but going back <laughs> to the reviews. I guess 10 bucks stolen from me. My origin is gone. <laughs> 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 no, because you know, new, real New Yorkers, they'll ignore them. And they'll just walk straight. Just look straight. Mm-hmm. But me, I guess I look like a tourist. Because I was like… Mm. Looking around and stuff. Maybe you're just because just you're yeah. too nice. No. You're you know what still makes me sad? What? Um, when I really like a certain restaurant mm-hmm. and then I see the reviews and then it ends up not having as much of a good review. Yeah. It just makes me so sad. It makes mm. me like, why? Wait, what, why would you like it though? Did, did you eat there already? Or uh, is it like of course. you want to go there? No, no. It's a place that I, re- I go to go there often. Oh, like but really? I never checked the reviews. And then I happened to go there and I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I would recommend it to people, right? Yeah. Mm. And then one day I'd be like, Oh, I wonder what kind of reviews they're getting. And yeah. it's like not as good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it just makes me feel like I'm a fraud. Yeah, you just become the guy that gives shit. Yeah, I basically re- recommended the you wrong. Have sh- you have a sh- taste. Yeah, yeah. Taste yeah same. So I'm like, <laughs> it's unfair that yeah. kind of stuff. I'm like, oh my god, this place is so good. I'll send you the link, and then I go in, and it's like four point three. I'm like, uh, four point three is not, not, not that bad. bad. Like, but it it's not as good as mm. like four point eight or four point. Oh, what would you consider good reviews then? Like 4.5 Anything up? over 4.5. Yeah. 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 4.5 and up is solid. But it also it's depends on how many reviews there right. are. It can't be like 5 reviews and 5 stars. It has to be at least like 200 reviews. Right. And then anywhere from like… 4.5 and up. 4.3 and up. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you know yeah. with reviews though… Sometimes it's not only regarding the food. Mm, it's, it's like regarding. service. Yeah. yeah and like yeah, yeah, yeah. hygiene. Health, yeah. Oh, the cleanliness. Hygiene. Yeah. Hygiene. Yeah. 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 Some places be dirty huh? Yeah. yeah, man, you find like hair in your food and shit. Oh, uh, so you guys ever? Do you guys ever? Cockroach, I haven't had that in Korea. That in Korea? No, right? I never no, experienced that in Korea. Korea. In New York, what? at uh, a pho place, there was a cockroach uh, in your food. Oh, just crawling around on the table. Oh, okay. yeah, no, oh, I thought it was like in your pho. Yeah, I was about to just say. taking a bath in your. Pho. There was a mosquito oh. in my pho. Yeah, low key, I've, yeah. I've the, seen the sushi place I worked at. We we've had rats like. All the time. Okay, wait to yeah. expose your yeah. sushi well, I'm restaurant. Not gonna, I'm not going to say where it is, obviously. Don't but, they know? In Korea or Canada? Canada. In Canada. Oh. Hey, oh. How big are them Canadian rats? Yo, we had we had the biggest rats. But then let me tell you this crazy thing. Because this place shut down. So I can say whatever oh, okay. I want now. Yeah. The boss… Okay, this is really messed up. But the boss, right? Uh-huh. He had two starving cats in the upstairs of the building. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he would starve them. <gasps> on, purpose? on purpose? On purpose. So they oh catch the And it would unleash the cats during closing time. And they would start hunting the mice. Yo. And we'd be closing up, cleaning. And like <laughs> we'd find like rat feces and be like, Damn, this is like messed up. And then we see like the cat like just chilling. And then he starts putting his ass high up. Yeah. Oh, and, and then the hair stands up. Yeah, and then the hair stands up. And he just pounces on something. And I, I, I look over and he's just like… <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going in that's the day I quit. Yo. I was like, wow, I'm not, I'm not staying here. So you saw rat corpse? Yeah. I've seen a bunch of, I've seen a bunch of rats trapped on the the mice traps too. Oh yeah, I've yeah. seen those. Yeah, it was, it was nasty. Like, I don't know how the inspection 
passes in Canada. But I, same I with have New a question. York though. Yeah. Like if you were to show me with your hands how big them rats are, mm-hmm. how big are they? Because I've seen a big rat recently. Probably not in as Korea. big as what you no, no, see no. then. In New York, in your city. Oh, New oh, York. Yeah, yeah, New York city, is like but this big. They're like baby like, cats. They're baby cats, cats bro. <laughs> they're, they're, I yeah. shit you not. I've seen that before. They were this big. Where would you see them? Oh, just walking around K-Town? On the street? On the street. Oh, God. Like just like… Along like the corner of like the floor. Mm. I would faint. I was like, what the f- Was that a cat or a fucking like What if it was a cat? There's no way. The <laughs> shape of it and the tail, it just it was a rat. It screamed rat. Like it was, was it a- during the day or at night? It was during the day. It's probably like lives near a restaurant or something, eats a lot oh of food. God. It was in a in an in a pretty like restaurant filled area. Yeah. Yeah. The one I saw was like this big. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's like a mouse. That's a mouse. That's that's a mouse is like this big. Come it's on. It's like a big mouse. It's a big mouse. Big <laughs> mouse. Yeah. But yeah, we had that. Those cats are so poor though. This big. No, it's not. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, you like that big. are you including the tail or no? I think sometimes excluding the tail. That's disgusting. Yeah. Because no, the one I saw wasn't no, too don't, far off. Don't say it. No, no please no, don't. No, I don't no, no, show me. Show me. I want to see. No. I want to see again. No, dude, I have like, a phobia. Some of your breast size. 16, 16 to 20, 20 inches. inches. Yeah, bro. Whoa. They're huge. What are they eating? Trash. New yeah, York trash. trash. Pizza. New York pizza. New York pizza. New York pizza. All that grease. They're getting big. New York bagels. They're eating good out there. New York water. They'll never run out of food. That's Right. No way, that's a rat. That is not a rat. It's bigger than his face. Okay, so like restaurants. Mm-hmm. Let's start with restaurants. Food. Reviews. What is like a deal breaker for you? If you see this word in the review, you're like, okay, I'm not going. Or I am going. Rude is a mm. big one for me. If it's rude, like… But you know, there's a thing in Korea. Like if they're rude, it means the food is good. Yeah. Oh, like you, the ajum, like the harmonies. Yeah, or yeah. yeah. That's why I usually don't mind the rudeness. Yeah. It's a, it's more about the consistency. Yeah, because mm. they might have had a bad day. Yeah. You know. So. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's like dirty or cockroach or cockroach, like uh, just yeah, if they talk about the cleanliness, mm. then I'll I'll be turned off. Right. I wouldn't go. And it depends the location as well. Mm. Mm. But you can't really trust the reviews these days because they have so many five star review services. Paid so reviews. You, oh, yeah, yeah, they, they have paid reviews paid. and they also have… Um, oh, we'll give you a free soda like uh, in exchange for a review. Even delivery apps too. So oh, if yeah, you get something yeah. for free, you're not going to give them like a three star. No, but you star. know, a lot of people say they'll do it and then they don't, they don't do, do the it, review yeah. either. I have really? forgotten. A lot of people do I've, I've I always give I always reviews. do it, yeah. How- and if it's good, yeah. I'll like, I'll like be, write like a heartfelt message. Aww. Aww. Mm. There's always the there's always the Sajang names that reply to those comments. Yeah, and like, oh, it's so sweet. Yeah. Like, oh, 너무 다행이에요. Yeah. 감사합니다. 자주 방문해 주세요. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's heartwarming. It's very heartwarming. Have you guys ever um, left a bad review? Yeah. So for me, yes. <laughs> I usually only leave reviews if it's bad. Oh. Uh, yeah. What's like the worst type of you've said? Oh, it's not like, uh, I'm I, like I don't I don't rev- I don't I usually don't write like text. I'll usually just do like the stars or whatever. Uh, just leave like one star. Uh, but there was um a place that I used to order from. So it's like a it's a branch. Mm. So there's several. Yeah. Mm. So I used to order from a different one and then I moved. So I ordered from a closer one. Yeah. Like a different one. And then they would always leave something out. Mm. Oh, so then I would yeah. order like a salad, but then I don't really like salad, so I would get two dressings. Yeah, I know, there's, I know there's no point of eating a salad if I'm having two dressings, but I guess, you know, mentally I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah, eating yeah. greens. <laughs> I mean, vitamin fiber. Yeah, you, are, you know, <laughs> mentally I'm just like, oh, it's healthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but like, I would get two, but then like they would not give one sauce or something, or oh. I would order a drink and then. They wouldn't give the drink. Yeah. Or um, I would ask them to take out onions because I don't like raw onions. Uh, but then they wouldn't take the onions out or something. But it happened like so three or four times. times in a row. Uh-huh. So now I was just like, F- this man. <laughs> <laughs> I went and then all the orders that I ordered from like that store, I just gave one star on all. Uh, <laughs> Did they, oh, so you didn't call and like, complain? Thing you didn't complain. Oh, no, like no. the first time, like the first few times, you know, I called and I was like, 
아, 저 이거 주문했는데 이거 뭐한개 빠졌어요. 근데 아, 뭐 어, 지금 갖다 드릴까요? 는 I'm like, I don't want to like wait like it's gonna yeah. get cold most of the time it's yeah. like it's okay right because so, i would get like a warm bowl or something so yeah. i would have like warm like meat on top of the salad mm-hmm. and stuff oh. so then you know i was like oh no it's okay like uh just next time give me like a free one mm-hmm. and then i would order the same thing and then say so like then, oh last time one. you forgot yeah, it I was like, and then i would call them I was like, oh, like you know like last time i ordered you guys forgot you guys told me to just call you up and they're like okay and then two sauces would come but then the drink wouldn't come so i'm just oh, like oh god Oh mother! And I was like, yeah. okay, and then yeah. I would call them back. It's like, oh yeah, the the sauces came this time, but my drink didn't come this time. But then they would <laughs> give stupid excuses, like, oh, uh, I think the driver just forgot to take it. Yeah, it's always or like, uh, yeah, it's like, always oh, we gave it to the, we gave everything to the driver. Like just maybe blame she it didn't. On the delivery guy. Yeah. And I was just like, from every single other branch I've ordered from, I've never had a problem with the driver forgetting something. But like three or four in a row from. One Just this branch. branch. Yeah. I'm like, I don't think it's the driver's fault, man. Mm. Like, yeah. I mean, he could be like… Maybe he could <laughs> hate it. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, <laughs> Maybe. Four, four drivers in a row. Oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're right, actually. I, yeah. I had a… It was a day when I shot a music video the whole day. So I didn't eat. I couldn't <gasps> eat, right? Okay, so on the way home, mm-hmm. I ordered some pizza, right? Mm-hmm. I get there. Right on time. I pick it up. I open it up. What I see is half of the pizza… It, the pizza, the frame exists. Half of the the topping is smushed on one side. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So okay, I don't I know, know what, what to do. If do I call the the place or do I call the driver? I don't know whose fault it is. Aww. But I'm just gonna have to eat this. Like- <laughs> <laughs> How do you drive <laughs> to get the pizza, pizza looking like this? Yeah. So I I'll ended give up. It to you ASAP. So, I, so, I, so I ended up basically. Folding it in half yeah. and then just cutting it up and oh, then eating nice. it. But Smart. it wasn't as good. You know yeah. what I mean? I wanted the pizza like… You, you know you, you fantasize you, about it the whole day. Yeah. But yeah. So Especially after a full day. So I just… Um, I did call them and uh-huh. then they were just kind of like… Oh it, it must have been the driver. Like there's no way that we would cook it that way. Yeah. Right? So I'm like yeah I know but… Maybe he dropped it once. Yeah, or he I, fell. Uh, maybe he fell. Oh, just think fe- of it that that's way. That's cool then. That's yeah, fine. I hope you're fell. okay. Yeah. But yeah. I heard that on Google Maps, uh, Google Maps, when you leave reviews, you don't have to actually try the food to leave a review. So huh? anyone can leave a review. What the heck? On Google Review. Wait, why are people re- reviewing on Google Maps? So that's why there are bad, a, bad a, reviews. It's a map so though. Some why people are they just reviewing yeah. food no, on like a map? map you oh, could, they're just trolling. You can find food in restaurants oh, and cafes really? you and can. you could leave oh. reviews. And some people troll and just leave bad um, reviews. reviews. So Google Maps, I can't really trust. <sighs> uh-huh. But Neighbor Maps, these days, they make it so that you have to have the receipts to leave a wow. review. So it's a little more trustworthy. Okay. So smart. Yeah, but Google Maps, like anyone can just… Maybe on, they had Google. one bad experience. Step it they up. didn't even eat there, but they or they mm. or maybe or like their, their arch friend. enemy owns this it. This just shows you how improved the Korean IT system is, bro. Yeah, you take a picture of the receipt and then yeah. they scan it yeah. and they're like, okay, okay hey, I'll leave Google, a like you got so much money, just hop on that. Like, why can't there's so oh many trolls? No, because there's businesses. My brother does a uh, uh, culinary business too, oh. right? So these reviews really matter. Of course. Yeah. So it, it would it would suck to see like these trolls, like probably like. Like these 10 year old kids just going on Google and be like, hey, let's yeah. make a one store review. It just pisses me off, but. Some pet person in Korea is gonna be digging through the trash. I found it! Yeah. What about apps? Apps, apps, yeah. games, like games. Game yeah. apps. I don't play too much, but I, I look at the reviews a lot for apps. Yeah. Like the ones that you have to pay for? Oh uh, no! Primarily for games for me. I think I even look at the reviews on Inst- the Instagram app too. I one time did just, oh, for, just fun. for fun. Yeah, oh. it's, it has like the worst reviews. It's so. always about bugs. Like, <laughs> yeah, please yeah. fix this. They're yeah. so mad all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. For apps, I don't think I really look at the reviews. Yeah, if it's free, I don't really there? look at the reviews. Oh, movies. But, yeah, movies. Movies are a big thing. Uh, for movies, I don't really look at reviews. It's just usually. Like word if of someone mouth. someone tells you. Yeah. Mm. Oh. But then if I still want to watch… Like if it's a movie that I wanted to watch and I heard it's bad… I'll still probably watch it just with lower expectations. Yeah. Right. And it usually makes the movie a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I usually have pretty… I think I usually have pretty low expectations watching… Or, or actually, it's not an expectation thing. 
I'm just easily entertained with movies. Oh, well, me too, though. Yeah, yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I don't like people are like, <clears throat> you know what I don't kind of understand what? the people that see watch a movie and to me it's boring. They're like, you didn't get it, but it's like it's so boring. <laughs> but it's not that it flew <laughs> over my head. It. It's just like yeah, it just didn't entertain it's like, you. You're like Okjiro trying to find the deeper meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah like, like that's not the purpose yourself. of the. It did, yeah. yeah. You don't really like slow burn movies, huh? What slow burn movies? Like, like it takes a while to like develop the plot and everything like in the movie. It's very mm. slow paced. What's an example? Did you watch Burning? A, so so Burning was one where uh, like everyone was like, yo, like this was so f***ing good. And I was like… Because it's all about the conclusion yet. for the Burning. So it's a huge build up. The movie has just this huge build Are you up. one of those people that… F- <laughs> what are you like, 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 I'm not, I'm not, no, I appreciate… Yeah, you're one of those deep <laughs> searching no, like, mother- I'm more, I'm more of those dudes that like want to understand what they see, and also I want to. S- I look at the the quality of it too, like the mm. work that's put into it. What did you think about Burning? Burning was good, Burning but it was wasn't good. like for me. It wasn't what a was movie Burning? that I I would recommend what? to a lot of people. Burning. Maybe was, hey, okay, I'll say this. Maybe I'm just salty because I didn't get it, and people were just like, you don't f- get it, and I was like, hmm. Did you watch Once Upon a, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Um, that's no. a great movie for anybody. Isn't I it? I, I couldn't it's get so past the first oh. 20 minutes. But that Why? kind of movie is so f- is for people who appreciate… It's for sophisticated people. <laughs> it's for <laughs> sophisticated <laughs> people. No, it's, it's more people sophist- that like really appreciate the Hollywood scene. I like Hollywood, Hollywood when it was that. The golden years of Hollywood. Maybe oh. I'm just going to focus on that day. Were you Maybe. Netflix and chilling? Huh? <laughs> no. Your eyes changed. You were like, what the heck? God, you were, you were like zoning God. out. You were like God. zoning out. Hey, were you never? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so like, what the heck? Did you guys watch the Snow Society? Oh the yeah. Society just switch of Snow. up real quick. Okay, what? Mm. The Society, Society of, of Snow, Snow on I Netflix. Did not. No, I did it's not. such a good film. Is it's it, about the plane crash. Is it slow burn? Which plane crash? What? Um, from Uruguay back in. N- or 19 it's a true something. happening. Yes. Oh, it's no. based on a true story. Oh, so is it like a documentary type? No, it's a movie a based movie on real based life on, events. Okay, okay, okay. But the way they filmed it is insane. insane. It's so realistic. And just a storyline. It's in Spanish, but… Mm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, a bunch it, of these crazy movies are coming out from like, you know, the foreign the foreign scene. Not, yeah. not oh, just yo, in yo. the US, yeah. but… Yeah. Um, I watched this… This is actually from the US, but… I watched a series called The Bear. The Bear? I heard really good things about that. It's, the Bear, <laughs> it's on… It just finished its season 2. It's going on season 3. Oh my it's god. About, uh, it's about a… Okay, you just gotta watch it. Actually, I did watch it. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, I don't wanna, I don't wanna give, give it anything away. Explanation. I watched the summary version of this. Oh wait, on I think I've seen um, like a few things on Instagram about yeah. it. Because all I knew of going into this <gasps> TV show… Oh wow. 8.6 on IMDb. Yeah. 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yo, that's pretty… That's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's like, good, all, huh? All I knew about the show going into it was… It's just about culinary… Like yeah. it's just about food. Oh, like sure. the food restaurant scene. And it's so good. Oh, it takes place in Chicago? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why you like it too. Oh, it's, yeah, it's your city, city bro. It's it, like, your city. <laughs> no, the, the whole… The, the, throughout the whole series, it shows like the beauty of Chicago. Like… Nice. Every, uh, the streets and like the food <laughs> scene and everything. I'm not even from the city, but nice. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy's and it's great. Hot. It's so good. Who, Jeremy? Yeah. Who's Jeremy? Jeremy Allen. Oh, yeah. he's, very, he's very good what in this he look TV like? show. Very sexy. Mm. What does he look They're like? all good. They're all very good in this… Uh, this, yeah. this show. Were there know. any movies that or dramas that someone recommended you to watch and then you just didn't like it at all? Um, I mean, there's probably a few, but it's very hard for me to not like a movie. Like, oh, oh I, yeah. I, I have the same way. Yeah, just as long as it's like somewhat entertaining, I'm just like, eh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. If if it's recommended, mm-hmm. then like I, I get excited about it and mm-hmm. I end up enjoying yeah. it usually. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you guys I, have very low standards. I think so. Yeah. yeah, but burning, I was just mad because everyone was like. It's you so don't good. Get it. So there was like a murder. Mm, okay. But then like people were trying to figure out how the murder happened, right? Wasn't that what it was? I have not watched no, it. So you're basically… Uh, how do I explain? You're, it starts with his uh, point of view. Uh, Yuai Nim's point of view. Yeah. He's the character. Right? He's the main character basically. Okay. And then he kind of falls… He falls in love with uh, the Chun jung Sun actress Nim. And then Steven Yoon comes out… Comes into uh, the scene. Uh-huh. And he's like this… Suave, like amazing, like really nice, talkative guy. Yeah. He's so social and he's literally like the ease of all ease. Mm. 
Right. <clears throat> and he's not like that. He's very odd. Very odd, yeah. yeah. And then from there, you just got to watch the movie and see what happens. And then it's there's things that happen that you just don't understand what's going on. Yeah. Okay, I'll try watching it once, I guess. But what are those short stories? What are those? Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> scared people who enjoy this movie might talk to me. No, it's it's a… It's, it's critically like, acclaimed, but it's not like not everyone has to get it, bro. <laughs> yeah, Loki dissed you. He's like, he's like, it's, it's critically, critically acclaimed. acclaimed, but you know, you know, you know there's, 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 there's certain movies like it, that so. I don't like that are critically like Midsommar. I was recommending that movie. I hated it. Which one is that? I don't one? even know what that it's is. It's like the most grossest movie I've ever seen. Yeah. Do you uh, you you watch a lot of films? I love movies. Huh? Yeah, I love you movies. Watch a lot of films. It's a movie, Kelly. Yeah. Film yeah. head. But, uh, I've heard of it. But I was just I was just talking about this off camera, but um uh. The poor things. Go watch it. It's so good. Okay. Poor I, wanna, I wrote it down. I want to watch it. Why? What is the poor thing? I don't things? like going to the theater. Oh my goodness. No Why? one's there. Okay, watch. If you go to watch Get poor lazy. things, no one's going to be in the theater. <laughs> it's just going to be you. Yeah. Don't you like popcorn? <laughs> I, love I do, popcorn. but I can just buy it at the convenience store if I want it. Oh, I saw something on Instagram about this too. It, like, it came out. Oh yeah, it's it in the theaters awards. right now, right? Yo, Emma Stone yeah. is amazing. For movies, is it Rotten Tomatoes or IMDb? Ron Tomatoes. I, I don't look at neither. Oh, Yeah, I don't really look at reviews. Yeah, me and Peniel are word of mouth. Yeah. You don't, want, you don't even like, watch YouTube reviews? Not of no. movies. Of movies? No. That or if like, <laughs> like you want to go watch a movie, I'll just be like, okay. Yeah. Mm. Like I don't really care. Do you guys, know, are, who, do you guys know who Lee Dong-jin is? Yo, is that yeah, the yeah, critic? Yeah. He's the yeah, critic with the one-liners. He does the one-liner <laughs> critics. I, I know. So I know. Good. Him. He's, yeah. he's amazing. I love that guy. Just leaves very simple, like concise yeah. one-liner. And he's got these like flashy, like red glasses. Yeah. It makes him look super sophisticated. <laughs> he's just like, yeah. yeah, that guy knows. He knows movies. Yeah. But, just, but if you watch it, do you get that one, like what he's saying? Yeah, he does like the best like one-liner really? like oh, review. Okay. Yeah. But also, aren't movies subjective as well? It's how one interprets it. Oh, and for sure, for sure. One yes, likes yes, it, yes, right? yes, yes, for sure. Yes, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Well, I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, there, I'm, sure I agree. I'm sure there is like a certain meaning that the director wanted to put in the movie as well. But yeah, yeah, I'm sure some of them leave open endings and stuff for people to interpret on their own and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like Inception, like the, like it doesn't stop and stuff. Mm. Like it's like, was it a dream or was it mm. real? Like, yeah. you know, it's like it's up to you. Inception was great because you know, like it, it's spinning and it does the little wiggle at the end, yeah. but it doesn't exactly stop. So it's like, it's but even up to you. like you know, those film festivals, they have they yeah. you know films get featured and they play it and then we hear stories about how there was like a twelve minute standing ovation for the movie, yeah. and then I watch it, I'm like. The hell is this? You know what? I think there is what another movie thing because twelve minutes standing. The over. thing a with lot. that, okay, maybe I've I'm I'm kind of like um, contradicting myself, but I feel like at those type of festivals, <laughs> mm-hmm. people that go, um, they're Are gonna be mostly no 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 no. <laughs> they're gonna be mostly either actors, actresses, actors, people who work on set. Mm-hmm. You know, like big people in the industry, so they're gonna know. How much work went into each scene and whatnot. Mm. So I feel like there's a lot of things we might not be able to see. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or just people that love movies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe that could have been. I mean, I love movies too. I just don't think too deep about them. Yeah, no, yeah. not the same way. <laughs> yeah. What's the most recent movie you watched? Uh, most recent. I, I actually rewatched Catch Me If You Can recently. Oh, mm. that's a great movie. I love that movie. You? The Poor Things. Oh, The Poor yeah, Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last night. Last night. <laughs> oh, what was the last movie I watched? You know what I've been watching… Like re-watching these days… Before going to sleep is… Um, ke- oh, oh, that's great. That's a great yeah. show. I really like that one. You're too. re-watching it? Old. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. Cause my cousin's autistic. Oh. So like when I, when I see it, I'm just like… You know, I'm reminded of family a little bit. Mm-hmm. And like… She's just so… Fucking amazing. She's so like, good. Yeah. Yeah. She's so good at acting. Amazing. Adorable. So so lovable. Like, <laughs> 약삼약, 기라기, 토마토, 토마토, 스위스, 인도인. Yeah. 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 What's your last movie? Uh, I recently watched Logi One. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I want to watch that. I want to watch that. How is it? Is it good? Okay, it's not good. Alright. Logi One? It started out great. It started is out great. And Song Joong-gi's acting Jung-gi. is… Yeah. It's on Netflix. His acting is on Netflix, yeah. really good. He's like he goes through a lot. It's like the it's like watching like DiCaprio on Revenant, right? The Revenant, like he goes oh, through a lot. Oh, it's not of, on that level, but that yeah, level? yeah, oh, he goes whoa. through a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Wait, would you guys consider a parasite slow burn? Or is that no, pretty like no, I don't think it's not a slow burn, right? Very yeah. fast paced. Yeah, that shit was a really that crazy picks up movie. pretty fast. Yeah. 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 But maybe then, like the yeah. first like 30 minutes might be slow burn. But yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but thank God for reviews because we have so many choices now because we have so many OTT platforms and so many movies and dramas to choose from. It can kind of help narrow our choices down, right? Because yeah. you can't yeah. be there going through every movie list on Netflix debating on what to watch. Yeah. It's like, oh, but you know, there were there was a recent like po- poll done recently. There was what? A recent I just said poll re- yeah, poll, a recent poll done recently. <laughs> <laughs> But I guess younger kids these days prefer more than big Hollywood movies and stuff. Mm-hmm. They prefer kind of independent movies and mm, stuff like that. Because yeah. they feel like they're supporting uh, the person by watching the movie and stuff like that. Oh. Mm. So oh, that's really like, dope. That's kind of interesting. That's tight. Yeah. It has nothing to do with our topic. But we There's were talking a, about movies. And I think that's why the, stuff, so. the, the A24… <laughs> I was just about to bring that up. Getting so big. What's that? What's that? What's that? So it's a movie studio. So it's basically you have your regular like Hollywood movie studios, right? Uh uh But then there's A24 that's making like that's bringing us like everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh, I heard about you know like that one was crazy. uh, Always afraid. The one that I just talked about, the poor things. It's all these movies that are. Is beef from there? Yes, I think so. Yeah. So it's the it's 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 the stuff that we. Don't usually get from Hollywood, but at the same time, stuff that it makes us think more. Mm-hmm. And then you see the real, the real acting from these big name art, uh, actresses and actors. Yeah, it's raw. Yeah, Their it's very raw. raw. So, Yo, I watch everything all at once, drunk as f- on a plane, dude. That that probably got you I crazy. Was so no, good. Mind f- oh me, bro. yeah, dude. I was like, oh shit! Like I was like dude. in my seat, like, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, especially was- for like for us. Like you're yeah. supposed to, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, immigrants. Yeah. So relatable. It's so re- relatable. Yeah, so, yo, I want to say something. You hmm. guys, everyone listening, you guys should comment below what ratings in what field you would trust us to do. Mm. Yeah. Oh, like us? what would we yeah, be us. experts? Like what? On? What? Yeah. What would you trust Ashley's ratings are? Restaurants, movies, cafes. not restaurants, because she's like super Korean taste. Ah, uh, yeah. So for <laughs> Korean food, for Korean food, I would trust her reviews. Yeah. 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 Not American places. food. Aesthetic makeup. Places. Makeup. No. Clothes. No. 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 Cafe. Oh, for like aesthetic, cafe. like if I want to find like a aesthetic. Cafe or something, you know, nice mood. Like it's gonna yeah. look good on Instagram and stuff. Oh I would yeah, trust she'd, that, she'd do well. Yeah, because when my friends come from the states, they always go to the you know super touristy but overrated places. I'm like, like don't go there. You know, even like Songsu, they go to like the most touristy cafes. I'm like, why are you going there? I saw it on TikTok. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, let's talk about that because I see a gang of reviews like yeah. on Insta reels and TikToks of like food, especially. Mm-hmm. I've I've the first one that I've actually went to it was like cube steak oh. with rice. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really good, right? In the video, them cubes were like thick and meaty as you know, mad juicy and like they had the sound effects and all that. Yeah. Like, what about in person? It wasn't oh, like that. You guys there take me. It wasn't. It, yeah, it was it was smaller. The the, <laughs> the portion scam. the portion was small. Mm. The the steaks were small and I was just like Really, and it doesn't. It didn't taste that good too. Mm. So I was like, "Ah, oh, okay. These you have but to be careful." A with. lot yeah. of restaurants pay to do like Instagram right. and mm-hmm. TikTok right, right. reviews too. So well, they have to put hashtag Guangguo or hashtag ad, or else that's illegal. Yeah, but they <laughs> but still <laughs> a lot bad. of places still don't do that with though. the duck lips too. Actually, come <laughs> if they on. get caught, you know. Yeah, but a lot of places still don't do that. They still yeah. don't do that. Yeah. yeah. Huh. There's a place called LB. Can LGBTQ. I talk about it? No, El Bistro. No, huh. I just wanted to talk about the. Uh, sure. This restaurant in front of my house. Just yeah. know that if someone goes and it's not as good as you say it is. Oh, it's gonna <laughs> be good. It's gonna be good <laughs> because it's really it's really original because there's uh, the chef there. He's the only guy in the in the restaurant. Oh. So he takes your order, he serves you, and he cooks the food oh, so for you. So it's a one table restaurant. It's basic. There's like three tables, but he still pulls it off. Oh. El Bistro, Sounds check like it out. It's gonna take a while for your yeah. food to come it's out. Not, no, no, it's actually not that slow. It's really good. Mm. Yeah, and he and he always makes these like the day of like the dessert of the day kind of thing yeah. for you, and it's so good. So shout out to okay. him. So El I gave Bistro. him a lot of reviews. 
You can't leave more than one reviews. Can no, you? like different different apps. Like I would. <gasps> yeah. Wow, that's so nice yeah. of you. Because he's so nice to me. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you want to know where uh, Juni lives, look up El Bistro. No, I don't live there. I don't live there. I live mm, mm, yeah, too somewhere. Too somewhere. Too somewhere there. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Wait, what about accommodations like hotels, Airbnbs? You uh, hotels. I don't really look at. Too many reviews because I'm not too picky. Just mm. um, mm-hmm. if it's if the room's just big enough, mm. oh. and then I'll probably just search if they have a gym and a swimming pool. Same. Mm. That's so yeah. true. Yeah. Same. I think I'm most picky with accommodations because okay. I've had bad experiences with Airbnbs when my oh, okay oh. Airbnbs a little yeah. different. Yeah. My what, mom what? and I went were went to California. We took our cousin and my mom's older sister. On vacation, and we went to Malibu Beach, mm. and we got an Airbnb right on Malibu Beach. Wow. Like the the Wait, edge of the house the was on the beach, Ooh. so it's like, Hot. and it looks really nice in the pictures and everything. So even though it was a bit pricey, we booked it, and then we got there, and everything was fucking dirty. The sheets, it looked like it hadn't been washed in oh. months. The, the floors were just muddy and disgusting. When when we opened the pantry where the spoons and everything were, they were used. Stuff and Ooh. like we just felt like so disgusted, so we couldn't sleep there. So we complained mm. to the owner, and they were like, "Oh, well, I don't know what to do. It was normal when I got out." So that night we had to sleep there because we had no other choice. So we all sat because we don't want to lay our head on uh-huh. the bed. So we sat and slept, and then the next day we had to check into another hotel. And then I fought so hard to get a refund from that. Talk to did you me. get it? I did nice. eventually. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, nice. but I do well have a similar experience. But it was an Airbnb in Korea because uh, it was like my parents, my sister, my brother-in-law, and then my nephews, they were all coming. So then I was like, okay, I can't have that many people in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I got them an Airbnb. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. And all the reviews were good, good? too. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it was like, oh, like the, the owner is really nice, whatever. Like the house is really clean, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay. And then I know… I've been to that apartment complex before because I knew someone that lived that used to live in there. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, like the his that person's house was pretty nice too. So I was like, yeah, the reviews are nice, whatever. We got it. And then I got there and the bathtub is so dirty that Ew. like I don't think you can even use it. Ooh. And like you know the jet like stuff in the, the bathtub? Jacuzzi, yeah. the jacuzzi Feature? like the jet Whatever. Yeah. The, spiel, the, the like, handles are like all rusted and stuff. So ooh. I'm like, I don't know if I want to turn that on. Yeah. Gross. And then on the kitchen sink, like above it, it's all molding. So then it was just, it was this bunch of dots of mold on the thing. And then the Gross. sink was broken. Oh, nice. Oh, man. So the I mean, yeah. just to top off all the mold. So I was like, uh, <laughs> what is clean about this place? Yeah. I was like, what the heck? So we told them and they were like, oh, we'll send someone to go fix it right now. Like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we can't do anything about the mold or the bathtub right now. And I was just like, what the heck? What? They fixed the sink hose, but that's it. Man. Oh, you didn't get a refund or anything? Like partial no. refund? How did you get a refund? Just so like in case someone else goes yeah. through it? I just kept fighting with the Airbnb customer service. And you know Korean moms, they'll like make you do it till the end. And it's, yeah. you know, my mom can't speak English so I have to do it for them. Uh, and I wanted to give up in them and I was like, Mom, like I don't think this is going to work out. She's like, <laughs> Message them again. And she made me take so many photos for proof. And I think that helped. So they were like, okay. Yeah. All the f- yeah. They looked at it like, oh, d- that is dirty. Yeah. <laughs> but the Airbnb owner was fighting back to not give me the refund, obviously. That's messed but up. That was, I had to get a refund. Yeah. Man, yes. all you Airbnb owners. Yeah. Come on. Controlled on up. Google yeah. Maps. Do you guys um, watch reviews on electronic products? Yes. All yeah, the time. We, we watch videos. Yeah. yeah. Like on phones and stuff too. Not phones, but I recently purchased the Fujifilm X100V. Yeah. So ah, I've been ha- I had that on my wish list for three Wait, are years. Are you sure you check reviews and stuff? Why? I did. Because it's hard she to use. I had no idea how, to, know use how to use it. Yeah, oh, Kunil taught actually. me because he has the 4. 
Uh, um, yeah, he was teaching me. I don't know much about cameras. I need to study more. She sent like me. She sent me a picture and she's like, "Why are my pictures coming out blurry?" And I was like, "Oh, your shutter speed is probably low." She's like, "What's that?" I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you, what review did you watch? Like, like a thirty second like so, TikTok I was review. Like, you so. bought this camera, but you don't know what shutter speed is. <laughs> Ashley just watches reviews for cameras and looks for the word either good or bad. good or bad. <laughs> yeah. Or the or the last part or like the quality of the pictures. The, yeah. the pictures yeah, yeah, come yeah. out great. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Ashley. How do I use it now? Yeah. And she had the long exposure on too. Yeah. Which is like if you click it, it's gonna, you know, it's long exposure. So that's yeah. probably why it's blurry and stuff too. So I was like, Do you know now? Like how to take, you know? I mean, I think you take good pictures, <laughs> but like the Do you know how to use the camera now? Yeah. Not yet. Kind of? I did when all did the you buy it? this for you too. I what? bought it like Two weeks ago? Mm. Yeah. I, I haven't changed had the chance all to like the settings okay. for you so it's easy to use too. Yeah. And it's so hard and to use. And you still don't know how to use it. <laughs> no, I, I know. I know. I can take a picture. Yeah. Anyone okay. can take it's a fine. picture. You'll learn it. I don't I, yeah, I gotta learn along yeah, the way. I don't really know how to adjust according to like how bright or how dark it is, mm. but I'll get there. I yeah. told you, keep the ISO at like a certain thing. If it goes too high, it gets noisy. So keep it there. Everything you're saying right now. Is <laughs> yeah, I think when I was explaining it to her at uh, my birthday party too, I was pretty sure it was just. <laughs> no, she was just like, she was like oh, uh huh, uh huh. No, she, she was like sipping on wine. She was like, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay, and I was just like, why the. F- Am I, this no, right now? I gotta learn as I take pictures. So I think we should bring our cameras to Hangang one day or somewhere and take pictures and bring then bring it here. But I can't yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Done. All right. Good. Yes. Good, good, no, good. I'm a even learn long. as I go kind of person. Mm-hmm. Oh, me too. Well, me too. I was literally taking pictures and showing you there. I know, you taught me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've Thanks. never seen this before. <laughs> Was that? Actually, yeah. that was you taught me that a was lot. Good, that was yeah, good. The best but video. That, but that face thing, you taught me a lot. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Mm. Anyways. Yeah, f- you. What? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? just kidding. Oh, yeah. We all know. I'll, I'll teach you more if you need to know. Okay. Anything regarding electronics or cameras? Ashley's Not the last Ashley. person you're gonna go to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't get it. She might be able to send you a bunch of links about it. Mm. But yeah. she won't be able to tell you herself. She can send mm. you pictures taken by the camera, just not by her. Do you guys watch reviews that on things that you will never buy? Oh, just for fun? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I look at no. like… Um, yeah, you wouldn't. I actually, will, I not don't. things I would never buy, but like… Amazon gadgets. Like 20, <laughs> 2024 are just interesting top, gadgets. Top 50 like Amazon oh, products yeah, yeah, you can yeah, get yeah. under 100 bucks and stuff. Yeah. yeah I yeah, bought yeah, a yeah, flashlight. Yeah. It's like this big but it's like hella bright. Oh. Light up a dark room. What do you need it for? You, you, need you never know. 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 Yeah. You know. Totally get it. I don't have it on me today but maybe I usually this, carry it Maybe around. this is a guy thing though because yeah, we relate. Really, yeah. It's definitely a guy thing. Like small gadgets like that. You know like flashlights and like stuff. We're just like you never know. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It's That's a why guys flashlight. can't throw away stuff yeah. when they're moving. We Do you guys have like a compass stuff. as well? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are what? you this from like… like compass is yeah. 19. It's, it's, it's 2024, man. Okay. We don't need a compass. Mm, okay. yeah. I mean, th- I think we know a little bit past that. No, you don't. If you didn't have your phone or anything, do you know where North, East, South, and West is? You look at the stars oh, but or if the If you sun. don't have a phone, why would you have a compass? I don't know. Going back to your roots, you know. Going back to the old days. Yeah, I guess. Simpler days. I guess. Well, then you just gotta wait until the sun rises. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> but I like watching reviews on things that I'll never get. What okay, was something that, interesting though. that caught your eye? I recently watched like… Like a super expensive like vacuum cleaner review. <laughs> I'm so weird. It's such a mom thing. No, but, you know, right? no, but this stuff, it's like, you never know. You might end yeah, up buying it. It's you never interesting know. like to see like these people putting effort into these certain things that we never really think of getting. It's cool. Like, like I, get, I, I, I watch reviews on like phones that I'll never buy. Oh. oh. That could be interesting. Because it's like, whoa, this phone like folds? Uh-huh. Like Yo, this way? It's have cool. You, have you seen… They're pretty… They're like um, doing a lot of promotion on Instagram. Mm. The Rabbit. AI like it's like an orange like Game Boy looking thing, but no. it's AI. What but is apparently that? it's supposed to help like you talk to it and it's supposed to help like old people and like make life easier and what? whatnot. What? Yeah, but our, it looks like a Game Boy. I guess our algorithm is different. Damn. I've never yeah, seen I've it. Never I've never seen, seen it. Okay, okay. 
Maybe it's How many old like people are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> I watch I think so many. I, uh, go. I think I just uh, I look up a lot of tech. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. where you get like the tech stuff. I watch so many videos on the the Apple thing. A Vision oh, Pro. Vision, Vision Pro. Yo, that is crazy. I want I'm not it even so bad. Lie. No, it's I like, heard I heard the review. I I know someone who tried using it. They said it's not. It's not good. I mean, Apple sponsor me. Like, oh my gosh. But, um, the not anymore. <laughs> He's so mad. He's like, what the f No, they said it's kind of heavy. Very uh, heavy. Oh, yeah. That's what I heard yeah. too. And no, it's kind I, of I dizzy. Heavy I just want to too, try but... it though. I wish they had like a testing thing at the Apple store. They don't have that yet in Korea. Oh. I want to yeah. make music with it. Yeah. Because you can pull up your DAW and make it like literally this big. Yeah. Right Explain to them what a DAW is. DAW is like um, uh, the software DAW. for making music. Yeah. Oh. Like GarageBand? You like GarageBand? Yeah. 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 Wow. That's an example. Yeah. Okay, Ashley. Okay. You know, okay. You know your final DAWs? Cut, oh, wait, no, wait, Final Cut is not it. What am I talking Logic? Logic. Logic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another one. Final Cut is for videos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I just want to switch up the scenery if I'm working. Mm. You know what I mean? You can switch it. You can switch up the scene and you can be on the moon or you can be on a lake. Or you can just switch everything up. It's gonna so look I have real. my computer screen and I can just change up the view and it's gonna give me like this crazy… Does it take away <laughs> everything else and you could just put that… Yeah. Like, oh what? I so didn't know So you that. look behind you and it's like the whole… Like the whole area is just like… Yo. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Work, work on the moon? I feel like that's just gonna it's force people bangers? to just be more <laughs> indoors. Uh, the only uh, reason I would want to get that is for like sports events. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's You're true. Like, I got courtside seats to the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Or like yeah. concerts. Yeah. That'd be cool. Concerts would be cool. Yeah. Be dope. yeah. Be but dope. You, yeah, there are a lot of fake manipulative reviews on Instagram products. Regarding that? You know how they do ads on Instagram? Yeah. So, and sometimes you go in. There are so many fake reviews. Yo, I've been offered to post a review in exchange for the product. Ooh, yeah, so like, a lot of people do. You can't, yeah. Can you tell us what product? Uh, it was earphones. Ooh, mm. I, I didn't do it just because like I can't, I can't like you know put a good review without really knowing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was offered. So, yeah. oh, but a lot of people want to do that though. Instead of paying mm. you actual money, yeah, 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 or giving yeah, yeah. you the product and money, they'll just be like, "We'll yeah. give it to you for free if yeah, you review it." That's yeah. a great way to put out your stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna guess the movie. Yeah. Let's go, the baby. Credit? Uh, tomato, tomato meter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tomato meter is eighty-two percent. Audience score is eighty-two percent. This Isn't person that says, good? "Yes, yeah, seems great." I had the feeling coming out of this movie that I haven't felt. Oh, I had the feeling coming out of this movie that I haven't felt since maybe I was eleven years old in nineteen seventy-seven, <laughs> <laughs> and I saw Star Wars for the first time. I already know what it is. Do we have to say bye. Really? Who? Yeah. Next one. No. Rewatching it with fresh eyes 10 years later, the movie's pulses and minuses both rise into much starker relief. Okay? Overall, this movie was really about the jaw dropping visual effects. That's the great thing about it. Next one. The story is just a scaffolding for the world building. That may make it more of an experience than the movie, but the experience is a fun place to visit. Hmm. Last one is it's an achievement to make 3D look as good as it does here, but that counts for excuse me, but that counts for little if the characters are all in 1D. The film is a triumph of effects over effect. Oh, so I like to do 1D. No, I don't really like like fantasy science. Wait, science is fiction. it? It's, like, it's an animation, right? Cuz it's a, if it? the characters are all in 1D. Is it the Spider-Man movie? The animated one? Is it Dune? I was just gonna say Dune. What the heck? Oh, it's but the characters are all in 1D. Is it Star Wars Lego? <laughs> yes! <you're laughs> <fair. laughs> oh, I was <laughs> What could it be? What, what, is, what did that person mean by… Maybe it's 1D. a remake. Can I have some more water? Avatar. <laughs> Maybe they… Mm. Oh, Avatar! Oh, yeah. Avatar, Avatar was, good. was so good. This movie was great. Yeah, I really like Avatar. Are you kidding? This movie's awesome. I was… This is the first movie I came when I… Or the first movie I watched when I came to Korea. Mm. But I watched it in America. Oh, and, and then, then I came watched... to Korea. And then watched it again? They had like a… 
We run little like party thing for, at the company. Oh. And we went to go watch the movie mm. and I was jet lagged. So I fell asleep the second oh. time. But. <laughs> nice. Okay. okay. Next one. I'll read this one. All right. Tomato Tom- meter. Tomato meter 88%. It's funny. It's bright and uplifting. And I think it has a lot to say about the modern world. Both in terms of feminism and gender equality. As toy commercials go, it's definitely the best one ever oh, made. Oh, I, I know this. When I became a father, I searched for movies that would show my daughter positive role models. And it was tough going. The movie makes up for lost time and should warm the hearts of parents and daughters alike. Do I need to read more? We know what this yeah. is, right? I've been That's watching it. Easy. One, Barbie. two, three. Barbie. Barbie! Yay! I haven't watched it. Is it good? It's worth the watch. I, I like watch it. it. 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. And audience score 86%. The director blends his trademark fanciness with a more rompish style of humor than usual. Mm. This mm. is a visually stunning film. But above all, it's a hugely enjoyable one. From start… It's clear the director is working with a new sophistication both in the vocabulary and structure of the film's voiceover narrations. It's a beautifully designed, visually ravishing, and symmetrical to the ninth degree? The nth degree? The movie is not as grand as work yet, but it is it is one worth an extended stay. Why do so they keep hard? quoting you, the director? Because you can't he can't name the yes, yes. the name the name oh, of the director is gonna okay, give okay. it away. Ah, I see, I see. Mm-hmm. But that's so it's like it's very This is very general. This is the hardest films of voiceover narration. Voice over narration. Birdman? Birdman has a lot is of voice. Is it the Grand Budapest right? Hotel? Mm-hmm. Oh because Oh, I Beautifully watch de- it. designed, visually ravishing, and symmetrical. Mm. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah. I, I didn't watch it. Isn't and that is true. It's either. not his grandest work. This is what people were saying. Yeah. Wes Anderson always makes very symmetrical. Yeah. Well, I went to um, his uh, hotel. No, oh, no, exhibition. The exhibition that was in Korea. Yeah. Wow. That was pretty good. Yeah. Can you read okay. it? No, uh, tomato meter 87%, audience score 92%. The movie moves with crispness and intelligence, arriving at the most purely satisfying conclusion we could possibly ask for. Audiences are going to eat that last reel up. I know I did. The movie is the most brutal film the director has ever made, uh, but the movie is also exciting and ironic and, at times, explosively funny. Who needs facts when there is great vengeance, furious anger, and the path of righteousness to attend to? Wildly extrava- uh, extravagant, ferociously violent, Ooh. ludicrously lurid, and outrageously entertaining. Yet yeah, also remarkably very much about the pernicious lunacy of racism and yes, slavery's singular ho- horrors. Ooh. Mm. What? That it's an intelligently short. provocative, massively entertaining exercise in postmodern uh, revisionism. Oh, these words are hard. Highlight yeah, how shamefully right now, <laughs> yeah. few movies Hollywood has ever oh. made about slavery. Oh, so it's a movie oh, is it about slavery? Like the, the one Jane. with Leonardo DiCaprio? It's Django, Django right? Oh, yeah. it Django? Oh. Django? Oh. Django? Oh. Django? The Django? Oh. Django? This, this movie was hard. This movie was hard. Yeah. You know, no. he cut his hand, but it was like by accident. And he just went with it. Leonardo? Oh, yeah, that, when, when he, oh. when he sh- shatters yeah. the glass yeah. cup. Yeah. Crazy. I've heard about that. Tomato meter 99%. Audience score 90%. A tragic comic masterclass that will get under your skin and eat away at your cinematic soul. It works on every level, which is perhaps fitting for a film about levels and whether you are at the top or Uh, bottom in life. We all know what this is. Just as many of the director's previous efforts have defied pigeonholing, the movie delights in ping-ponging from one genre to another, defying expectations along the way. I don't know it. I still don't know, yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, the movie the movie is stuffed with everything gorgeous, architecture, beautiful people, shocking violence, ingenious twists, wicked humor, and cleared eye social commentary. Mm. Oh, is it um Snowpiercer? Oh, very close. Parasite. Yeah. Uh, the level thing. Ah. Uh, uh, that's what it was talking about. It got 99? This movie was pretty I'm proud. I'm proud. Respect. <laughs> we're so like, we're like, just like Junie wow. got the most right. Yeah. Good job, Junie. Thank, Thank you. Let's wrap Wraps it up. up.
I, I want the chapaguri now. Yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> with the fried egg on top. Oh, oh. So I, mean, I haven't I, tried I that yet. I don't care about though. that. The chapaguri itself <laughs> is good. So I mean, if it's there, it's there. Oh man, the I truffle oil. Oh, with with but with like the meat too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The That's steak too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We hungry. We should go. We should yeah, go eat sometime. But before that. I have to. <laughs> nice transition. <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta figure out how to transition properly. But um, yeah, thank you for watching this episode. Um, you guys know the full episodes on youtube.com slash divepods. Once again, follow and review the podcast. And uh, yes, reviews are important because it may influence another new listener to join in. Definitely. So five stars. Five, five stars, stars yeah. only. Or you thank, you, thank you today. <laughs> what? I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace. Bye. Nice. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the other videos. Woo-hoo! Season four, baby. Season four. We're back. We're back. 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 back.